I'm Hari Srinivasan for CNETnews.com. The computer and gaming world is anxiously waiting for the new video game console Xbox to pound its way into stores later this year. More demos of Microsoft's new console game are underway this morning at Toy Fair 2001. That's kicking off in New York right now. The recently unveiled Xbox is expected to be a hot seller, but consumers are wondering how long they're going to have to wait to see it. Joining me now is a director with the Xbox team, John O'Rourke. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Now, have you settled on a release date yet for the system? The uh, Xbox is going to be coming to North America and Japan in the fall of this year, and then immediately closely following in Europe in the qu first quarter of 2002. So it should be around uh, under the Christmas tree for a lot of folks, I suppose. Absolutely. It's going to be very hot this Christmas. Now, we've heard reports that a lot of the Xbox developers have just received the sort of development kits for the system this past month. With the launch uh, set for the fall, do you think you're cutting it pretty close here? Actually, game developers around the world have had the Xbox development kits in their hands for a, quite a long time. Matter of fact, we actually have games that we were demonstrating back in January that are of games that will be shipping in the launch in the fall of 2001, so there's a lot of work already underway to develop amazing games when Xbox launches. Okay, how many games are we talking about available at the launch? At the launch, you can expect somewhere between 15 to 20 titles, and it's really all about the quality of those titles. We want games that bring to life the experiences people have always dreamed about, the things they've always wanted, where a football, you see the blades of grass, you see the expressions on the quarterback's face after he tosses that you know, long bomb for the touchdown. Now, are there going to be any games bundled in with the system when you buy it at the store? We haven't disclosed any particular marketing ideas or what may happen at a particular retail. Mm -hmm. The thing we're really focusing on is bringing the games to life and working with our retail partners, much of the many of who are here at Toy Fair, to make sure when we launch in the fall of 2001, we don't run into some of those challenges that have existed in the past. Okay, now Microsoft isn't uh, traditionally an e-tailer of hardware goods, but could I possibly see this on the website this fall? Could you be selling it or competing against those retailers? No, we very much view retail success as the key to success with Xbox. So as such, we plan to be where our retail partners sell video games and where gamers around the world go to get those games. So retailers are hugely important to the success of Xbox, which is why we're here in New York talking to so many of them. Now, have you set a price point yet? And we, haven't announced, we haven't announced a specific price point yet, um, but I can tell you it's going to be competitive with everything else that's going to be uh, on the market in the fall. Now, are we going to be able to see Sega games on the Xbox? Well, Sega right now develops primarily for their own platform. What you're going to see on Xbox is games from the world's best developers, Electronic Arts, Konami, Activision, THQ. Over 200 of these folks have already mentioned their intent to bring many of their existing games to Xbox. Now, if Sega decides that, hey, their great games may look at fantastic on Xbox, we'd certainly be excited about that. Okay, and uh, I guess what sort of a timeline are we going to see as the marketing of the Xbox increases? At what point are we going to know what's inside or how much it costs and so forth? As we get closer and closer to this and we've worked it through with our retail partners, we'll have more and more announcements that come. Right now what we're doing is spending a lot of time building buzz and excitement among not only the game developers but the people that are really the enthusiasts about games and as we get closer to E3 in May taking place in Los Angeles you can expect that there's going to be a lot of exciting news coming out at that time. Okay today uh, anything specific or anything special that you're showing off at Toy Fair? What we're actually showing some people is the real games that I had mentioned earlier. Okay. Games that are 3D realistic that actually sort of take the tools and the quality that you see in film and television and bring those to life actually within a video game making it not only fun but actually entertaining as well. John O'Rourke, thanks for joining us.